So, yeah, a few days ago I had a really nice uh, session with the hot air balloon team. It is always uh, really good to film someone doing something. So you kind of show some action on your photos and especially with the drone when there is something happening in the air. It's always really nice. And uh, here I have many photos and my job usually starts selecting some idea, something interesting that might catch an attention. Like this photo is quite a good one, the yellow field and a yellow and green balloon um, could get a good edit. Mm, this one is pretty dark and not, not nothing much particular to see. These are interesting uh, shots like this one also, green field, green balloon and a yellow for the contrast. This might uh, be a good photo to edit. Um, but, well actually I like this one, you can see some fog coming uh, from the ground and uh, some other balloons uh, lifting up, um, or this one which is a little bit different angle, uh, well I think we can, we can, we can do this one today. So let's say the first step is really to find uh, something that you want to show. And I do my edits as always in uh, Lightroom, Lightroom Classic. The first step we usually do some cropping to get an object and uh, kind of bring some attention. And remember the one third rule, it always applies, we will just a little bit crop it. Mm, maybe not so much the sky, so there's a perspective like this. Right, so what do we see on this photo? This photo has a really dark bottom part and a re really bright sky. We can start with the Sky, add a filter, gradient one. Um, right, so here it is. I will arrange mask it by luminance. So we only, so we don't take two dark, dark spots. Okay, I think it will be okay. Well, I know this was the morning. I usually applied some dehaze to get a little bit more details and at the same time I also add light mm, this was in the morning so I would say what do you think a little bit colder skies or a little bit warmer no we know how it ends but well the sky is usually blue so we take it like this and then I actually like the structure of the clouds, so I will um, I will add this, just put it over the clouds, and I also add a range mask with the luminance. But I will now select like really, really now takes all all the blue skies. And the white sky and the white clouds. I only want to have the white clouds here. All right, so let's uh, take it by color. Take it by color. Now this one, this is better. Yes, now I clicked on the really white spot and it only picked pretty white ones. Right, so for the white clouds, I actually want them like really white and with the texture and uh, maybe a little bit more exposed well, I think I did remove too much saturation like this not fully black and white and what will happen if we dehaze it uh, maybe like this 
Yeah, I think I like the sky better now. Okay, enough with the sky. Uh, then um, what do we have here? We have a uh, one balloon, which is like main object today, and we have lots of greens, the forest, the field, and a group of other balloons. So I think the balloons here are the main objects. Doesn't matter if the big one or, or the small ones, and the rest is like a supporting area, which is also quite important. Mm, how do we do? Let's treat this bottom area as a single piece for now. We do it like this. We also apply, but I think we also want a luminance range mask but we don't want it on a very white spot so we will mostly select dark spots you see yeah a little bit it, it takes a little bit these fields takes all the forest and all the dark spots and um, what can we do with it we can uh, well I like the hazing because you usually get a little bit more contrast and more vibrance and clarity structure for the forest and all all the things yes since it's a uh, summer to these days uh, we will add a little bit maybe temperature um, exposure not so much exposure we don't want we want um, lights to be dark and shadows to be doesn't take highlights. It doesn't really pick up exposure so well because we want to select the dark spots. You can see if we extend if we extend luminance mask, you see it takes more information and changes more can play with it like this I think yes this are like more can I see more what is happening okay this is pretty pretty nice maybe a little bit yes more exposure good now now we will we will take care of balloons a little bit later but uh, you see <coughs> this area of the, the the forest which is far far away on the background is a little bit different so I would I would want to modify it a little bit to kind of extend it or show off mm, I cannot uh, uh, we will do it a little bit more carefully we don't take too much. We could try the, the range mask it, the color, but I, I, I like for these things take it carefully and slowly like this, so I know what I'm selecting. And you can always deselect if you select it too much. This is too much. Little bit time consuming job, but well, that's that's what it is, that's what we want. We want it careful and precise. Right. There's, a, there's a volley behind the trees. It's a really nice flight. I like this region, and usually these uh, hot air balloons they fly around this uh, hilly region of Latvia, um, mainly because that's where you get the best views from the hot air balloon. This forest, yeah, I think so. We also want 
that first. That's where all the fog is coming from. Take it there like that. I'm not worried so much if it goes a little bit over. I can always erase it. And then. Um, it takes time to do these edits, of course, but um, it's a good training. Over the time you will get some ideas which you might be implementing all over the other photos. But sometimes it takes really good time to start and feel it. Just practice, just practice it. Uh, my teacher once told me it really does not matter what you have on your photo. It's all about practice can practice on anything so we have select this and we want a little bit uh, you see what's happening if we de minus dehaze it a little bit but there we go. the clarity minus texture minus this looks cold make it cold no Sometimes you, you just fail and you, you think you have a good idea, but then it does not turn so good. So that's also acceptable, you shouldn't really stress, you see you can even just make it dark so it looks like a... looks like a, all the rest. I don't think I succeeded much on this idea maybe I'll just abandon it and just leave the filter no no good ideas all right so not a big deal if this happens and let's look what we can do with the, the balloon you can draw the, the you can apply just use adjustment brush to make an area around but uh, I often, at least for the balloons, I use uh, these round things so it looks a little bit more natural and uh, does not have so strict and hard borders. But sometimes I uh, will do a very precise area. Right, so on this one we want we want to dehaze a little bit and we want to make it brighter a little bit warmer or no, actually no, not warmer but a little bit cool and um, whites yes, we want whites to be this little bit highlights. You see, it's picking up these areas. Good. Yeah, I can. I can already see that it's a little bit popping up. But actually, it picks up these greens around the forest. Maybe just make it smaller. Maybe just apply it the balloon itself you see when you're moving you can see where you want to put an accent actually uh, well, even and if you don't have an LED it's good to play like this you can have an accent like this on a basket then the rest really doesn't you maybe want to have it like this. Uh, I'm just trying and 
myself now and uh, oh you see how it looks there looks really interesting it does not look bad make it like a stream of light actually really like it this uh, this uh, technique when there's an oval with a, like a ray of light actually let's keep it like this and uh, for the upper part we will make similar similar but different we maybe even direct it like this put the center on the balloon where we want the most of the accent and uh, we make it also exposure up the haze and if with the first one we did temperature down with this we can make it up maybe not exposure up but we just highlights up whites up Actually, I don't like this temperature as much mm, temperature and yeah why not let's just uh, temperature up makes it look too unnatural I'm the person who likes it natural colored and again by moving we see exactly how it where the accent goes and you see I've ended up with a different shape and a different position than I, I initially thought and this way we are catching the balloons on the ground and in the air now the this area the intersection of both uh, radio filters basically we have two filters applying to this area while here it's only one and this makes these balloons really stand up and pop up out I don't know if I really want it I think I want the main balloon still pop up a little bit more and one more filter Come on, doesn't cost us anything much. And the uh, exposure, temperature down, the haze, a little bit clarity, structure. Highlights, whites. Oh, this is really a lot. I think that it's a little bit too much. Yeah, too much exposure. All right, all right. So now we've gone already from this to this, which is not so bad. You have attention on the small balloons on the ground. You have some attention on the big balloon. You might want to do some small tweaks on a basket but I think it won't matter so much what I, what I really love to add is like a big radial filter this big in the center and I deselect invert so it's from the outside and from the outside either add some canvas or add some lights now it's really bright now it's dark sometimes it doesn't work good but sometimes it gives an interesting effect you can um, sometimes play with the texture clarity Having a little bit mystery, if you think of it that way. 
chiar asta du-te, 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 du-te,
Uh, you see now, it, like this is like autumn, at once. Just a few changes, and you you would want to say that this is uh, this picture is taking in the autumn. But uh, we will a little bit. I think I will not touch this blue channel. Good. So uh, that's how it looks. I think I, I feel that this uh, the central balloon the Zephyx balloon is a little bit too dark these small balloons are popping out much more but we had a radio filter around it and it was this one yes and we can always go and edit it Also, sometimes uh, I would extend this uh, gradient filter to kind of go a little bit further. Right, so this how it looked, and this how it looks now. Completely different story, right? Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy about this photo and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hit the like button and uh, put some of your ideas in the comments. I'm ready to export it. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.